Hi there, Eric Baker, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. A question from a lady called Mrs. Rosello, and this lady's in North Carolina in USA. Eric, how do I stop a candida overgrowth in the body? Okay, well, I could spend a whole day talking about this topic, but I'm going to cut to the chase and give you uh, an example of probably two or three of the most common causes of candida overgrowth in the human body. I think probably the biggest cause is, if you could drill it down, is improper eating and drinking of foods. So I watched my dad for many years with a seriously bad yeast infection. And dad was a big man who ate for emotional comfort. He was a guy that suffered from quite a bit of anxiety. And he was quite an emotionally fragile person, very sensitive man. And his way to cope, rejection and uh, you know, these sorts of emotions, was to eat foods like carbohydrates. He would eat a lot of cookies. He didn't drink a lot of uh, soda drinks, but he would drink lots of coffee with sugar in it. So dad would have five, six or seven cups of coffee a day with two teaspoons of white sugar in each cup. And then with cookies, he'd eat a whole packet of cookies. Or he'd eat one or two liters of ice cream, and that would make him feel good. Carbohydrates do make people feel good. The brain has got quite a high demand for glucose for sugar. And by eating a lot of carbs and sugars, it certainly makes us feel good. But then it crashes us and makes us feel tired and irritable, requiring us to eat more of these kinds of foods. So we're setting ourselves up for blood sugar problems. But furthermore, we're setting ourselves up for a major yeast infection because these are the foods that yeast loves to eat. Other people, like my stepfather, will drink alcohol. My stepfather will drink a bottle of whiskey a day. Now that might seem crazy to you, but there's a lot of people out there that drink beer or whiskey or wine every day. And they don't think anything of it. I've given up counting how many women I've seen that drink a bottle of wine a day or two or three glasses of wine per day. Many men that will drink two, three or four beers per day and think nothing of it. So it's these continual daily habits that contribute towards a yeast infection. And generally there'll be one strong habit underpinning the in infection are causing the overgrowth to occur. And then along come other causative factors like illness requiring antibiotics or more carbohydrates uh, on top of that or foods containing antibiotics like commercial poultry, which I've spoken about a lot in my book. So how you stop an overgrowth of, can uh, of candida is by looking uh, in particular at a habit that you've got right this moment, which will be feeding up that candida. And in most people's cases with chronic infections, it could be something as simple as two slices of bread per day or even two little squares of chocolate per day. It's a continual regular habit that will be contributing to the overgrowth. And that's the thing that you've got to nail on the head is a continual habit. So I want you to think about that after you've watched me in this video. Think, well, What's my continual daily habit? Would it be chocolate? Would it be alcohol? What would it be that I'm finding it hard to give up? And if you can answer that question, then you're already halfway there towards reducing that overgrowth of candida. I hope that uh, answers your question. Thank you.